Hello and welcome to the Simone Bailey Show. I'm your host, Simone Bailey. You may recognize me from such television shows as Stargate SG-1, Battlestar Galactica, Smallville, The L Word, and as Cross's partner in the video game, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Speaking of video games, we have a very special show lined up for you today. Many of the fans will recognize him as Sergeant Cross from the video game franchise Need for Speed. Joining us today is actor Dean McKenzie. But before we introduce our fabulous guest, I would like to take a moment and welcome all of the fans and all of you tuning in at home and everyone on our live chat. Thank you so much for being here, for joining me on my channel. Today is a great day and we are so much going to have a great show. I'm so glad you're all here. And I would like to introduce my fellow interviewers. Joining us on the panel today are my co-hosts, YouTuber LP Ripper 24. LP Ripper 24. Here we go. Let's bring him on. Hi. What's going on, guys? Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, Simone. Yeah. Oh yeah, so LP Ripper 24 uh, interviewed me not so long ago on his show and he is a Need for Speed fanatic and he does some fantastic reviews on cars and video games. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, it's a, ple it's a pleasure. We're gonna be talking about a lot of Need for Speed today. Yes. Asking questions for all of you and actually you too, Simone, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, I love it. And uh, and again, uh, again, the honor is, 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 is mine. Thank you so much for, for, being, for allowing me to be here. I'm so glad you're here. You. All right, introducing our next guest. Um, joining us today, I got to work with him on Need for Speed Most Wanted, and I think this man's a creative genius. Habib Zargarpour was the senior art director at Electronic Arts from 2002 to 2009. He crafted many video games, including three Need for Speed games, Need for Speed Underground, Most Wanted, and Nitro. He now does visual effects on huge blockbuster movies like Blade Runner 2049, Jon Favreau's The Jungle Book. He's worked on Star Wars and Star Trek movies, The Born Identity, Twister, The Mask with Jim Carrey, and the original version of Jumanji with Robin Williams. He worked with George Lucas's company, Industrial Light and Magic for many, many years and was nominated for two Oscars for Best Visual Effects for The Perfect Storm and Twister. Please give a warm welcome to my dear friend, Habib Zargapur. We are so lucky to have you here today. Hi, hi, thank you. Yay! How are uh, you? I'm really good. I'm, I'm so I'm glad I'm hearing you're here. an echo. Are you hearing that, LP? Do you have um, a YouTube... Um, Tab oh, open. Yeah. Let me let me kill that. That's it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I warned you about earlier. It's so that happened to oh, me yeah. in the first stream. I was like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. All right. Now here we go. It's time to introduce our featured guest. You will recognize him as Sergeant Cross from the video game franchise Need for Speed. I'm so very excited to welcome actor Dean McKenzie. Dean has a very impressive resume working as an actor in TV, film, and video games. Some of his credits include Arrow, the Man in High Castle, Smallville, Supernatural, Riverdale, Stargate SG-1, The X-Files, Fringe, The Outer Limits, Need for Speed Payback, Need for Speed Carbon, and Need for Speed Most Wanted. Please give a very warm welcome to the one and only Mr. Dean McKenzie. Hi, Dean. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Dean. Hey. LP, <laughs> Habib. Oh my God, the, I'm sorry, but Simone and, and Habib, I haven't had the opportunity to be talking with the two of you in any kind of medium since Most Wanted. It's been, it's been, and I did an interview with uh, LP24, the madman himself. I mean, <laughs> this man's love for cards and the games is just like, it, it makes me feel ugh, inadequate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you doing dean i am good i'm really good honestly considering everything that's going on globally um i feel really lucky to actually uh still be up here i was actually heading down uh habib's way your way uh to um actually do something with habib in the desert and uh 
mm. actually us uh, you know meet up with my my new management and uh, all that down in the states and then uh all this happened and then literally i am like pretty much homeless night right now trying to figure out well what do i do do i you know how long is this going to be four months six months a year do i lease something rent something here or do i what do i do so like everybody else um i'm kind of like oh lord but mm. i am in uh, british columbia it is really really good here um, it's not as locked down as i understand a lot of the cities in the united states are so you can still have um a, a somewhat decent quality of life i mean yeah my my spring skiing shot to hell i mean some of the best conditions we've had in, in forever shot to hell i mean i'm i'm going to therapy behind this <laughs> uh, well welcome to therapy sir yeah. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. This is now a clinical study. <laughs> Dean, do you mind giving a shout out? I know we have a lot of people in the live chat right now. Do you mind just reading off some of their names? I'm sure they would love a shout out from you. Oh, okay, so do I click on private chat? I'm new to this guy. No, so no, no. Um, where it says uh, public, does it say public chat? No, it says I've got Private chat, live comments. Live comments. Yeah. Click on that. Okay, I clicked on it. Do you see all those people? I don't see a thing yet. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look at all those people. <laughs> okay. okay, hang on a second. Let, let, let me start. Let me look. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm going back up to the top. Hang on. Just read off their names. Okay, hang on one second. Hang on. I've got this. Oh my God. There's so many here. Santa yep. Maria. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. There is uh, Darth Punk, uh, <laughs> Rand King, Elser. Uh, Darth Punk is coming at me again. Hang on a second. Let me get out of this. There's James Abrams, uh, Need for Speed Racers, Top Tang Dill. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Uh, Simone, literally, the Library of, Library of Congress right here. The, the list, the list is huge. It's, I mean, Pedro, Itza, Warren Barrel, uh, uh, <laughs> Frank Franklin. It, oh uh, God, was super supreme, uh, supreme heretic. Uh, <laughs> The, the list is insane here. I wish I could show you. There's got to be so Blacklist I mean, Garage, El Candato, go. Arnaldo Bernier. I, I, I want everybody to know in live comments that I, I see you all and thank you so much for viewing. I'd love to, to list your names, but my, uh, my vocabulary doesn't lend itself to that amount of articulation. So please <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah. Wow. I cannot believe girl, you have wow. I'm um, hats off to you. Oh my little, my little girl partner's grown up. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Look. But hi everyone. Hi everybody. Hi. Please do. <laughs> I'm glad you're with us. Thank LP you. Ripper 24, would you like to start with the first question for our special guest, Dean McKenzie? Dean. Be gentle, okay. my first time. Uh, no, I, you know, I'm going to ask you the, the, the first question I, I here. Um, how does it feel to see all of these beautiful, amazing people in this screen right now? How does it feel to... Uh, you know, see them again and talk to them and, and see how the Need for Speed community has brought y'all together once more. Okay. Um, first off, none of this would have been possible without Habib Zarkapur on so many levels. The, la the last level is it was Habib that told me to get on Instagram and to create a profile. <laughs> Now, if Habib hadn't told me to do that, I would have gone to my grave not knowing that all this was happening because I had no clue. Simone, you know how it is. We work, we work, we work. We do a character and then we kind of like leave it behind and move on to the next thing. That's what we do. We don't belabor it. I had no idea. I mean, I'm looking at this 
And I am every time I look at this, I'm in a state of shock. I, I how many games, Habib, have there been since Most Wanted? You know, what, oh, yeah. 10, 12? <laughs> I mean, 10. Ten. Yeah. 10. And still, I mean, I'm, 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 I, I, I know I'm a good actor, but I didn't think I was this damn good. Ah, <laughs> you're <laughs> definitely good. <laughs> I think we were all it, lucky to be on that. Right, but to answer your question, um, uh, it's, it's, Humbling is just as is too inadequate a word. Uh, it's amazing I, to I, see I, like I how the yeah the look mm. look at the Need for Speed community, millions of fans all over the world, and and you guys years keep passing and passing and passing, and no matter what you guys are relevant, and you are st mm. still part of our community. Well, so it's it's a privilege. So Simone is is aging exceedingly gracefully. So, uh, again, to her genetics, and I guess I'm not aging too quickly because Look who's talking, man? <laughs> <laughs> you, you got some kind of filter on that camera? That's gonna hurt <laughs> we need to put the little uh, stuff that you talked about the at the app uh, a little while ago, Habib. That's <laughs> right. Make us look pretty. Uh, <laughs> snap camera. All I can say, my defense is truly black. Don't crack. Okay. Simone, you are the highlight. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we're over here falling behind. <laughs> you guys are too kind. No, everyone looks great. Yes, absolutely. Oh God, this is this is amazing. I'm just so happy to be doing this today, doing this here to be here with all of you, and to see this. Uh, to see this, who Javier uh, October or uh, Hi Simone? If you're gonna, okay, I lost him. But it's like all these ad, all these 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 uh. All these messages I started to replay most wanted with Redux mode, and this game is still unbeatable. Um, yeah, Sergeant Cross, best police ever. I mean, I mean, you really created a monster. <laughs> what did we sell? How many games did they end up selling? 18 million or something like that? Something like that. You know, over over yeah, 16 yeah. for sure. Over 16 yeah. million globally. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm still getting questions about when are they gonna do part two or uh are you coming back? And I'm like, guys, this is you got to ask the power of that be. This is just, I, I don't know. I mean, they call me, I'll come, but that that's as far as I, I, I can, I can respond to that, you know, for the True. one millionth time. So, yeah. <laughs> so yes. It's an insane amount of sales. That's true. It sold a lot. <laughs> it sold yeah. a lot. Yeah. It sold a yeah. lot. It was great uh, how it all came together, you know, uh, at the time, there was a lot of division between people that wanted cinematics to begin with and people that didn't, you know, there's some people that are like, I just mm -hmm. want to race, you know? And, uh, I, I prefer to have a, you know, motivation and a story and a context because that helps set the context of the city are you're in, you know, what, what kind of a world are you in? And, uh, so that was, you know, a, a really great to be able to put that forward and then how to do it, you know, the way we did it with, uh, you guys live, uh, wearing those, glued together outfits right <clears throat> that were that yeah were that laminated was, to look cg right <laughs> that was, that was and all the so whole extreme hair and makeup oh, on green screen that was pretty cool. unprecedented to do that much green screen on a project it was the same time as uh yeah there you go that was uh yeah both of you that was uh you know I, sky captain hadn't come out yet sky Captain the world of tomorrow was uh, one of the first all green screen films and and we were doing that for this before that Yep, and so, it's yeah, still how, today. It must have been crazy to like see how, you know, how do you act on a full green screen, uh, nothing but green screen, right? And Habib, to, to today's day, is the most requested, uh, uh, make it again type of request for a video game from Need for Speed in the history of Need for Speed. That's People amazing. want this game more than any other game in the history That's of amazing. all Need for Speed games. Yeah, and I think you know a lot of that is uh, due to. Simone, Dean, and Derek of bringing this world and, and Mia, you know, the, the Mia Farrow, uh, the, the, um, um, all, all, the, all the different um, actors that came together for it mm -hmm. and uh, how they really interacted with the players, you know? Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, it was really wild. So for people who don't know, when we were filming this, we were <laughs> acting against green screen 
And we just had practical sets, so very bare bones, you know, like a steering wheel or a car door, things like that. Um, but the world, you know, was really already created by uh, Habib and his team. And they would take us over to the monitors and just show us basically, you know, they would digitize what we had just filmed and put us right into this amazing need for speed world in mm -hmm. Rockport. Yeah. And it was just really mind blowing to see There's that. A, a the, the what? I'm sorry. Yeah, lost you there. Yeah, I lost you for a second. Oh. Two, six, yeah. eight, one, six. We're back. We're back. Oh. We're back. We're back. Yeah, in the comments there, there's someone said mentioning they have every version of the game. Uh, oh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun fact that I have every single version of the most wanted, 360 version, PS2, PC, etc. It took me years to get them all. Most recent was PC, and I bought it wow. brand new. Oh, that's, that's great. Cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's that, beautiful. That's amazing. That you know, is that, amazing. That, uh, the challenge was a launch title for 360. Anytime you're a launch title for a, a, a platform like a new console, all bets are off. You have no idea what that box is going to end up being when they actually ship. So you're you're just constantly uh, guesswork till till it's really actually in the box. Mm, that wow. box is still legendary. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that box is worth a lot. <laughs> Wow. So, Dean, I have to ask you. So, now you've been in three Need for Speed games. You were in uh, Need yeah. for Speed Payback, Carbon, and Most Wanted. Which was your favorite to work on? I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to go with uh, with Most Wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't be sorry for that. That's honestly, I mean, no, seriously, the other ones were were great, et cetera, et cetera. But most importantly, it was it was groundbreaking. Um, and we put our hearts and souls. I mean, once we got, I know, once I got there and I realized what it, what this was, I had so much fun as an actor. Not even on stage have I had as much fun. It was like being a kid in a, in this big, wonderful world of make believe. And yeah, you were right. It's kind of like um, you'd have these stands with a tennis ball that Habib would set up and go. Okay, that's the height of your Corvette. Now, when you're ducking <laughs> into the car, make sure that you basically go in like this and down. So I'm trying to remember every time I'd ever mm -hmm. got into a sports car, exactly how I made that move to make it cool. Because you can't just like jump into a sports car, something that low. You have to kind of like you have to make it kind of like like a like a Samuel L. Jackson kind of cool. You slide <laughs> yeah, in. you got to slip right yeah. into that car. And then you, you have to shut the door. Then you have to, if anybody's looking, sleep on the sunglasses and mean mug. <laughs> so that was it was it was most wanted was we 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 uh is it okay if I say where we shot that? Yeah, is that all right. Yeah. yeah, so we shot that at Lionsgate Studios in in uh British Columbia North End. And mm -hmm. uh when I first That's got, in Canada for all of you people yeah. over <laughs> yeah. 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 So when I first got the um the the uh it was brought to my attention, my agent called me to do this. I was like, I'm not gonna do a video game. It's like, I'm an actor. Come on. Mm -hmm. My kids at the time said, no, 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 because I raised gamers. They're like, no, no, you got to do this. You got to do this. And it's like, oh, and so, you know, for your kids, you'll do anything. So I went and Habib, I believe he said to me one time, when you walked into the room in the audition that first time, I knew you were Sergeant Cross. And nice. it changed everything for me. I mean, it, oh, it, it was. was uh, I'm trying to dig up that audition tape from my tape. Oh, no, please, God, no. <laughs> it, it was uh, something else. It was really commanding. I want to see was, that. Were oh. you there, Habib? Were you there for mine? Yes. Yeah. Then you have yes, hers, both, too. Both yeah. were mine okay. Hers. Dean, did you hear the story of my audition? No. What story? Oh, I know it, but I'm not going to say it. I'll let you say it. No. <laughs> What? So, okay, this also was my very first um, video game audition, and I always wanted to be in a video game because I thought that was just the coolest. Um, and when I got the sides, like the script, it said sexy cop. And so I was like, okay, sexy cop video game, what do I wear? And so in my closet, I had this sexy cop outfit 
but it was kind of like what a stripper would wear. You know, it was like long <laughs> sleeves and like booty shirts. But actually, I, I can actually show you the rendering of, I mean, so this was a, a Halloween costume that I decided to wear for the audition. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Um, here it is. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So I, I know, you? <laughs> I know. So uh, I wore that and I wore fishnet stockings and boots and um and i went in and you know the very first audition was just the casting director and uh it took a lot of courage to do it but i just went for it and i I'll kept it very it. stylized <laughs> um and then when i got called in for ea they invited me to ea headquarters which was you know a huge big deal and there i go to this beautiful uh workplace and you know i'm in this giant room was that Simone? Was that a uh, black box or was that at the campus? I thought it was at the campus. I mean, I don't know. Cause I was just, you know, I was very young and I was very excited. So I, I had always got the acting tip that if you get a callback for something, you should wear what you wore to the audition the first time, because obviously there was something they liked. So I put on my cop outfit again and, you know, had my aviator sunglasses and the whole thing. And I walked in and I just, did it and uh yeah and there it is We're, how is that like for you habib <laughs> seeing yeah, someone come in and in, in such an outfit <laughs> definitely have to modify this <laughs> uh, uh, rate, uh, rate it rate it uh 16 rate it t14 <laughs> we were uh, we, liked, we liked following your career on your show uh, on the tv series so yeah uh, you know that was a that was a really good fit because we were looking for a you know strong female character uh, to you know, to put up with with Cross and and, and uh, you know be able to work with him, and and uh, I think <clears throat> I learned a lot during all of my career in Need for Speed about you know outfits. When I first started on Underground, I was like, you know, I put together these wardrobes that were like cliche, like what you know, uh, and then I went to a street racing gathering, and it was you know it was a car show actually in Canada Place, mm -hmm. and and it was co you know. There was definitely like a uniform type thing, you know, where they they have sort of specific types of sleeves and outfits and you know short jeans. So I had to trash everything I did and start over. So it's really interesting trying to stay authentic to to what 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 we needed. And uh, that, that definitely made an impression. The clothes <laughs> also, the fact that you uh, use special type of clothing for the actors, where they had to wear clothes that were so uh, I don't know how you said the t the texture. Had to match the 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 mixture of green screen that you had going on for most wanted mm -hmm. that was pretty impressive too the fact that i don't know if they did did you simone or dean do you any of you had to wear those clothes that habib talks about that they you could just sit them on top of a table and they wouldn't even fall they wouldn't fold yeah oh yeah i forgot yeah. about that these things That's were right. starched to the max yeah it was only the picture of dean in the blue shirt at the end oh right that okay, one is uh, really laminated yeah let me pull up that photo. Oh, you have it? You have a photo there of the of the clothing? No, not of the clothing, but of, of Dean wearing his shirt. Yeah, that. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so in for order our... to make things look computer generated, we have to get rid of the fine wrinkles. So mm -hmm. it's laminated. <laughs> That's why it's so oh soft. My God. And, 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 it, and it worked, Habib. It worked because it, it matched the, the video game texture style that you were going for. Yeah. Yeah. It was very cool. And you know he was able to when when it moves especially you really think it's CG because the wrinkles don't budge you know they, they just sure. stay the same. That yeah. was a whole research we had to do. Uh, you know, glue the jeans and I, I'm sure it was uncomfortable, but it, it looked great. It was perfect. It was perfect. No, I mean, I, I I can't remember. I mean, I mean, someone will tell you that we're, we're trained as actors that we don't really complain about stuff. You just it's part par for the course you're happy to be there you do the best job you can um focus on your your training and 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 uh you know just enjoy the moment um <laughs> i mean I, I don't know about i mean simone can attest but i mean for me i've been doing this a long time and um i'm still hungry i'm i every time whether it was with habib or with um um i'm on a set with a director and 
you know, mm-hmm. that moment when, you know, he or she takes me aside and goes, okay, this is the scene we talked about. Um, we've made some changes, but you know what? Just do your thing. Just, you know, it's that moment that it makes all the auditions, all the sacrifices, everything that you go through as an actor to get to that moment when you're able to basically stand in front of that camera, you know, put up the fourth wall and go to work. And mm-hmm. there is nothing like it. There is nothing like it. I mean, for me, I, I just... Yeah, see, you see, we uh, have to spray those glasses. Oh, my gosh. I can't... Uh, you guys couldn't see out of those, right? <laughs> no, we couldn't see. It was like, it was like, it's like the visors in Star Wars where they had those painted on. Th- it's like, no, we couldn't see a thing. That's yeah. epic. Oh, my God. Parker Face X says, what about the blacklist? Well, I, have I, have a, I have a question oh, for Dean about that. Actually, but oh. for Dean and Simone. What's oh, that? Okay. Ask it, ask it. And actually, maybe LP doesn't know this either. Oh, I, I, told I, you I probably don't. Know. I probably don't. No, no, no. I don't probably think I've ever told this to anybody. Oh, I like that. Go, go, do it, do it, do it. Does anybody know why Exclusive. it was the top 15 blacklist and not top 10? <gasps> oh, big question. Oh, big question. I, wow. I'm guessing because it was all the levels people had to do and it made the game more difficult, right? You would think uh, so, but that's not it. Oh, so it's not that. Oh my God. No, no, okay. uh, because you had so many car companies clamoring to be part of this franchise? Uh, uh, no. No, no, no. It ended, it, up being a good, it ended up being a better number to have in terms of the whole game and the race, but it, it originally was a top 10. Oh. Top 10 most wanted. That's revealing. I, when I tell you, you're gonna flip out. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, the yeah. same the same time, like the same week that we're designing that part of the game, and we we literally had this meeting, and we're like, okay, there's gonna be a top ten blacklist. Uh-huh. George W. Bush put out the top ten blacklists of terrorists. <gasps> oh, oh! <laughs> and we all looked at each other, and we were and like, you're like, no. Yeah. Oh okay. my god. Uh, 15, <gasps> top 15. <laughs> and it was the best thing you guys have ever <laughs> we, You know, it ended up being actually a really good number, better than having, you know, because there's more to the game. But talk but, about um, shift on the fly. <laughs> that was. Um, well, we yeah. have George W. Bush to thank for the 15 right. levels that we got. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question that leads me right into this uh, fan question from uh, Gary. Okay, so I'm going to ask this to Dean, but I also want all of you guys to answer this as well. well Out of crushes happening on here, Simone. All these guys yeah. are crushing on you from back in the day. I'm I'm blushing here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. Thanks. Um, okay. Out of all of the blacklist cars from Need for Speed Most Wanted, which one was your favorite and why? So I'm going to just read off just to remind you what the top 15 cars were. Okay. So Razor had the BMW M3 GTR. Uh-huh. Tor- Toro Sato had the uh, Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren. Uh-huh. Ronnie uh-huh. had the Aston Martin DB9. Uh-huh. Joe, Joe Vega had the Dodge Viper SRT 10. Uh-huh. Wes Allen Webster had the Chevy Corvette C6. Uh-huh. Ming had the Lamborghini Gallardo. Uh-huh. Kira Nakazato, oh, well, Kazi <laughs> had the Mercedes <laughs> Benz CLK 500. Jules had the Ford Mustang GT. Earl had the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 8. Baron had the Porsche Cayman S with the flames up the side. Um, Big Lou had the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Izzy had the Mazda RX-8. Vic had the Toyota Supra. And Taz had the Lexus IS300. And finally, Sunny had the VW Golf GTI. Ooh, I like that GTI. Which way. was your fave? Oh, Dean, you go first. Uh, my favorite in okay, what in what context? Uh, the the car I most wanted to bust, or the car I just oh. loved. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, yeah. This could be a two part answer. Point of view, yeah. Police point of view, you don't like the fast ones because you have to chase uh, it. 
You know, I don't, but I also <laughs> want the best. I want the biggest as a as the the pursuer. Oh, I want to take yeah. down the fastest, baddest of the bunch so that everybody else goes to ground. Now, <laughs> as I have a propensity for taking out my keys. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and messing with people's pay jobs, uh, the BMW, that gray and blue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, every time I see it, it's like uh, a red to a bull. I want it. I want. It's like I said, if I ever got a chance to go back into the game yeah. and they had to come back, oh no, the king is the least of the gamers' worries because oh. I'm using everything. C four everything I possibly get my hands on. And you may not necessarily have to be out of the car when the C4 is employed. So be prepared <laughs> and be careful what you wish for. Because <laughs> yeah, there it is right there. I just, oh. I, I, wanna, I just wanna basically impound it and arrest whoever's inside. <laughs> oh my God, Damn. I'm sorry, yes. but that's just where I'm at, okay? Yes, that's, you're still in character. You're still in character. You haven't <laughs> left the character. Yeah. Oh my God! I'm telling you right now, take off the hat, put on the polo shirt or whatever the the shirt I was wearing, put on a shoulder holster. I'm having my cigar. I'm getting into my car, and I am gonna run the hell down anybody that I see. <laughs> oh, there it is. Up. I can visualize it. The key shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice no. pin stripe. Like, Oh, that that character. Oh, that was all me. I'm. I, hey, if I got an opportunity to go back into the game again, the nastiness. Ugh. Hold on, Dean. I got a question. Dean, I got a question. You're holding that key up. Um, this uh, was that a sound effect, or you actually keyed a car on the set? Because the sound was so realistic when you keyed the entire thing. Like, it just what <laughs> do you actually? I, David Footman. Um, that was his idea to do that, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, that was, was great. This is yeah, you um, were just taking it along I, the side. I but remember, you I added, mean, added the I sound can, later. So what, oh, okay, so good. Okay, because I couldn't yeah, remember. yeah, we couldn't we couldn't actually scratch the color. We weren't filming liked, the outside, so I liked okay. how it went from one channel to the other kind of thing. So it was pretty damn cool. Oh my so. god, it was iconic. That's that scene actually started the hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yo, here's a story for you, uh, uh, uh yeah. LP. So, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I back way back then, and when those games were actually were these, um, oh, you know, with Rogers, and you had, um, what's the other one called? The one was blue and yellow, those stores that rented all the video games out, Blockbuster. Oh, so, I one of my it. friends, one of my friends works at Blockbuster, and I always, I was always in there renting movies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so he knew that I had just done this game, and and uh, and was playing it. So he said one time this guy walked in and he was just, he brought the game back and he was just irate. He was incensed that this guy cross had keyed the car and he said, and I'm paraphrasing, if I ever see that bleep, 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 bleep I will kick the out of him. And then he started <laughs> laughing and saying, well, yeah, he was just in here yesterday. He's in here all the time. If you wait around, you can have that conversation with him. Anyway. Frodo says, R.I.P. Blockbuster. Oh, I miss it. And yeah. you're going to love this. You're going to love this. Uh, a friend of mine, I'm actually um, hanging out with him today. It was just, uh, we were actually, it posted something on my Instagram. We were sitting in the car, we're driving around. Is He's got an M5. But he had an M3. Now, we've known each other for years. He didn't know that I was Sergeant Cross. So when he finally found out, he's actually sitting right over there. He's uh, he's eating and he's laughing. When he found out that it was me, he was pissed. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know what it is with these people in their cars, but I mean, it took me a long time to tell him, look, man, it was nothing personal. It was just, <laughs> it was <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, yeah, it, it's global. The anger at me keying a car. Wow. It was perfect. <laughs> oh, I, dude, I think a lot of the players have a love hate with us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I <laughs> yeah. the heartbeat. that's the thing, though. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. I, oh. I, I, I still play it today. I still play the game today. And when I, when I play it, every time I run through that scene, because it, it, it's right at the beginning. It's like you can't. After that, you just 
it sets you off on a, on a tandem <laughs> that you just want to go ahead and, and, and finish the game and find out what happens to Cross. <laughs> and, and it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, evil don't die. What can I tell you? <laughs> yeah, and I, yeah, we should have known. <laughs> yeah. So, LP, yeah. which is your favorite car from the blacklist cars? Um, from the list, I mean, I am a big. I, listen, I love the GTI. Um, even though I love the BMW uh, M3 GTR, I love it. I just think that the GTI. I, I'll be honest with you guys. My first time playing Need for Speed Most Wanted. 2005 was around when I was the age of 13 and I didn't know much about cars and, and the cars that I that I found the uh, there you go there you go so I didn't know much about all the cars and I like the BMW M3 GTR but I passed the entire game with the GTI okay Oops. Yeah, yeah so I I passed the entire game with this GTI because I fell in love with the car and actually it was the car that I originally wanted when I was that age mm. And I remember it was one of the cars that reached like 220 miles per hour. It was fast. It handled well. <laughs> so back in the day, the GTI was my favorite car. And even though I liked the, the M3 GTR, that GTI was my, my iconic car. And yeah, surprisingly. You know, I, had a, do you know I have a, a connection with the design of that car. <gasps> oh, yeah. What's up? What's up with that? When I was at Art Center learning uh, automotive design, my instructor was working on the Golf. Oh, really? And oh. I did this uh, drawing that one day, and he looked at it, and he goes, hey, this is awesome, this part. I'm going to like this part of it. I'm going to use that on my design. And I was, like, happy and weird out at the same time. I was like, is that, is that okay to take students? Wow. Yeah. But, but yeah. I really, it's, it's kind of cool. It's the back shape that goes over the wheel, and you can kind of see, uh, you can see the curve over the wheel like that. Yeah, yeah, and it, to be. it's it's a, it's an amazing car. I mean, I remember playing it with the game, and and people might not know this, but the car is the BMW, uh, the the Volkswagen was super fast. You know what? Honestly, that, I've that, had two of them, and I love like two car leases. There you go. The yeah, you BMW have. GTI. Yeah, I love driving, and I love driving fast but safely. Um, and uh, <laughs> I oh, liar, liar. love that car. I love love that car. You oh, know, also, okay. I don't know what it is about the GTI. I, maybe it's my affinity for German cars. Uh, yes, guys, I like uh, I like the Porsche. Yes, I will get into a, a Corvette any day of the week and twice on Sunday. But uh, the GTI, I really don't know what it is about the design of that car. But I've driven a couple of them, and you know, especially in a in a in a five speed. I mean, it is nimble. Yeah. It's yeah quick i mean yeah. you can really corner like crazy in that thing but safely yes. yeah. but safely the quick story <laughs> dean the first car i ever went above 100 miles per hour was a cabrio a volkswagen cabrio okay this is a two-door car old school okay and after that i fell in love with all of volkswagen lineup because of the cabrio and that's how i fell in love with the gti Okay, right. and that's how. Oh. So the 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 Volkswagen lineup is what started me into cars, and and I didn't even know it. Uh, really, and that's what started me into cars, and you and want. it just reminded me of the Cabrio, uh, convertible, beautiful. I just oh want to show this one. So this, because I'm going to tell you my uh, <laughs> faves. So this is my on my top three from Need for Speed, but I'll show you which my uh, top one is. Hang on. Hang on one second, because I like this one is so gorgeous. And I don't know, Habib, if you had a hand in this one, too, but it's great. <laughs> Hang on one second. Yeah, Habib designed a lot of the cars. I mean, he did such. Oh, amazing, really? Uh, yeah, he designed yeah. a lot of the, 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 the art on the helicopter, right? What wasn't it? The, the helicopter, yeah, the, the car. Look at this Lambo. Christmas. Check out that oh, yeah. Lambo. Oh, yeah. Now that is a beautiful thing. Yeah, oh. that's cool. I mean, so you know, for me, of, of the artists. blacklist cars, I think it would be, this would be my top Design. choice. I would probably go for the VW GTI second. I would actually prefer to drive the G GTI. I love how okay. you guys agree and with then, me. And then <laughs> so, the um, the Porsche in third. Question here. So, okay, you know, up and uh, up, um, you know, I spent a lot, you know, I spent a lot of time up at Whistler Black Home. Um, mm -hmm. Now that highway, Habib, you know, the highway that goes up from, oh, from yes. Gate. Dangerous one. Yeah. I mean, my best time, I think I've done it in 
was uh, I think 52 or 53 minutes in an uh, an Audi <laughs> what? A, Audi That's so a fast. Something. in an oh, Audi you- a, a A4 I think it was but I uh, a few of my friends that have vehicles including my friend Frankie that has an M5 parked out front I keep on thinking which which car if you could drive that that highway the police basically pulled off the side and said okay have fun for the day guys what car would you drive up that highway to Whistler. There's a, a blacklist garage says, is it true that all uh, that you all chose Rockport for the city uh, because there's so many cities? Oh, because, uh, because it was inspired by Detroit or is it because there's so many cities in the U.S., uh, Rockport in the U.S.? It actually was inspired by Detroit. And then we, you know, we wanted to have a coastal section to it uh, so that that kind of combined, we, we like the industrial nature of Detroit and the fact that, it, you know, a lot of automotive uh, uh, companies originated there. But um, we, we just wanted to put, um, you know, get it interesting to have, a, have a, a coastal. So you have orientation. You have like, here's the here's the seaside of it and here's the landmass. And I've uh, said before, there used to be a, an alpine section with snow. For you, Dean, that would have been awesome. Could have driven to Whistler virtually. So, so hold on, hold on. I want to hear about the car. So what car we use, Habib? Like, yeah. what, what car would it be? So, so my favorite car. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to go with the, the same same one as Dean. Uh, the M3 GTR really grew on me, and it was because uh, I was spending a lot of time with it, uh, not only in game but also. Yeah. visually trying to make the cover of the game working with marketing and then trying to do uh, a lot of stills for magazine covers um habib tell them the profile. story about the the decals oh yeah so <laughs> working with bmw was super interesting because um we had to however we painted the car we had to get it approved and so we would send them designs like this one and they would send back saying, no, 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 this is not how you paint a car. And they would send us back something that looked like Van Gogh painted over the whole car. Like their <laughs> idea of a paint job on the car was like you kind of wallpaper it with Louis Vuitton. You know, you, <laughs> you, you, it, it, oh. it, it's just like some some fine pattern that goes over the whole thing. They didn't quite grow get the whole vinyl thing. So Imagine. it took some back and forth to have them accept. We settled on this design, which actually uh, I think ended up having a, you know, looking great and having good taste on it. But, to this day, uh, my yeah. friends, to this day, that design gets passed around multiple video games, including Grand Theft Auto V. Okay, that design what? gets passed around. That car design has had has probably seen four real BMW and not the actual car itself, but four replicas. Yeah, and it's been passed right. around in multiple games. Hot Pursuit 2010, Most what? Wanted 2012, Most wa- uh, uh, all these yeah. other games that are not even wow. Need for Speed related. That design what? in there, the the PDF file, yeah, the whole yeah, little yeah, design, yeah. yeah, it's been sent out to it, hundreds. It, are they allowed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't they know, love the it so much. Right on a final, yeah, that's like. I guess oh, that, legally. That, that's my pursuee. They can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cop in Dean. There's a cop in Dean always coming out trying to get people for doing things that are not hey, supposed man. to. Like, yeah, it's Bust like, him. hey. <laughs> Bust them, man. Bust them. Bust them. <laughs> so we have a question from the audience. Can you guys tell us the name of the actor who played the player in Most Wanted? I mean, the actor with the brown <laughs> leather jacket. We st- I, I don't know. I, I, you um, know the, the uh, Habib, I don't do you know? We named it because it was supposed to be anybody. It's like Master Chief with a helmet. I don't but know. But I guess what they're they're trying to ask who was the the actor that stood in front of the camera? Who's that guy that just stood there? Who's that guy? We we we're, everybody's wondering oh, who that guy is. Oh, oh, Simon, do you remember? I, I mean, most for the most part, it would be a camera, but sometimes it was an over the shoulder, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But most all of it was first person POV, which would have been the camera. Right. Um, and that's and, supposed to be the player, right? Yeah. 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 But but there is, um, I think there's a few scenes where you see mm-hmm. that person from, from the back with the jacket. Correct. And I, it was kind of like we had an extra there. Do you guys remember by any chance? Well, that just went through. I the have a guess, no. but it's going to sound, you're not going to believe me who I think his name was. 
Who? Say the name. <laughs> Say the name. I thought the actor's name, but I could be totally wrong. Well, I, Maybe I it was just a, a dream. I thought yeah. his name, and it's it's not the other one that you're going to think of, but I thought his name was Paul Walker. No. No, no not, not the Paul Walker, <laughs> but I thought it was another guy named Paul Walker. Oh, oh yeah, that's what you're saying. It's not the other guy that you would think. Yeah, it's not who you think it is, but I, I don't know he why. Kinda, but yeah. I, I, I recall, I mean, God, that was so many years ago. <laughs> I thought, like yeah. Well, you know, um, uh, Blacklist Garage says, would I sign if they make a replica M3 GTR with that livery? I definitely would. Um, oh, yeah, the, oh, yeah the, we're supposed to a, sign the car. Let's talk about that. Here's a fun trivia about the player character. Uh, oh, Josie, Moran, car, right. Josie Moran was supposed to kiss him at the end. Oh, Whoa. And and she no. didn't want to. She's like, no, I'm not gonna do this. So so it's just kind of like they just get close and we cut. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. At the end, where? Where? Hold on. I'm looking at all the parts. I'm thinking about all the cutscenes. I know yeah. she it says, oh, I get it. Where she where he escapes and you go to like the maximum heat level. Is that the part where where she's That's supposed right. to like give him a kiss and let him go? Yeah. Oh. So so we she uh, yeah she's like I'm not kissing him. <laughs> <laughs> well, she would have kissed. Millions of people. <laughs> oh my God! No, well, I know there's someone that they say someone it's just Craig posted Paul Walker. The, the... Craig yeah, Serenson. I, I, I think the guy from Carbon is Craig Serenson. They have their name here. It's it's popping up on the list and it's been posted multiple times. So if you guys want to search his name, Craig Serenson, we don't know who the extra was for for Most Wanted, and that's the guy that everybody's wondering who was that guy that stood in front of the with the jacket. Everybody's wondering who that guy is, but nobody knows. <laughs> He'll be the never mentioned hero. <laughs> so it was uh, fun working with with Josie, and you know, um, Josie Moran. She, yeah, she, she was very yeah. very spunky on set. You know, she had a lot of fun. And and uh, was it like her first video game that she did, or like the first uh, I acting? Think so or yeah, was it? I think so. And it, it, I, you know, this was so new the process we were doing that I think Dean and Simone, you guys can attest to this. Uh, there was a lot of confusion about whether it's uh, mocap or actual filming. Really, that wasn't really clear. You know, it was like, well, are they just capturing my motion? Like, there's all this green. You know, of course, we were processing the heck out of you know the visuals to look CG, but well, yeah, I, so it's kind of a hybrid. I think, I think it was a blend. It was a hybrid. Yeah, I mean, we were we were moving around in real time, but from what I understand, from what everything you always said to me, you always refer to it as MCAP. So that's yeah. I mean, we would we would we would basically process the image, and then replace the surfaces with simple ones so that it felt CG and and there's line edges and all that stuff. Uh, for yeah. anyone who's played uh, Most Wanted, it looks a lot better in HD because we had to do standard definition as well as HD because that Xbox 360 was when oh. was like just HD was just coming out. PS2 and all that stuff before that was the four by three regular standard definition. Yeah. And for, no. for some reason, uh, the cinematics when they were scaled down lost that synthetic feel on the actors. Oh. All the line detail would just disappear. Yeah. So if it's oh. only when you watched it in HD that you, that you felt that that great synergy between the actors and the background. And the cool thing was, uh, I I thought this was cool that we pulled this off is that um, the Whenever something happens in the cinematic, we were filming it pretty much where you were, like where you were with the car. It, the environment matched. You know, we were grabbing it from the same place. And that's hard to pull off with something that's pre-rendered. Correct. Um, another thing, is it still, is, is the HD version of those cinematics on the 360 or that never made it out? No, it's on the 360. It's on the 360 because I have yeah. it on my PC. I have the 360 version on my PC. PC it's modified it as well. So the thing, the thing about Xbox 360 was uh, Fast and Furious. Like, <laughs> yeah, awesome. yes, I agree. Yes. Me too. <laughs> yeah, big inspiration. Um, that when the 360 came out, it had a, um, it had a, uh, the attachment that went into the um, box on the uh -huh. back of the Xbox, uh -huh. and on the side was a switch that would switch between standard and high definition, and unfortunately. The, when you pushed it in, you could inadvertently slide it to standard def. 
Oh, so wow. a lot of people were thinking they're in HD, but they weren't because of that switch. And then, so, mm. the, you know, I was telling uh, Microsoft about the issue and they ended up putting a sticker on it. So people would notice that that, that thing's supposed to stay in HD. But those, you know, um, the early days of, of HD were, were tough. <laughs> oh, I hear, I've heard your stories. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What yeah. other things, Habib, might the players not uh, know about the game? Are there certain options mm -hmm. that not every player knows about me Need for Speed Most Wanted? Yeah, the one uh, uh, I'm passionate about is the, the dynamic time of day. So as you drive, the sun rises and sets every 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, but it actually starts rising again, so you don't, it, you never actually go to nighttime. So it's kind of the opposite of underground. But oh. basically, yeah. <laughs> Crazy fun fact. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and just put in uh, 30 seconds of uh, information. Yeah. Crazy Plays uh, created a mod for Need for Speed Most Wanted on PC, by the way, that is available now on PC that has the Xbox 360 version. And Habib, I think, I don't know how he figured it out, but he included the time of day change in the oh, settings nice. for nice. that version. So if you guys go to Crazy Plays, uh, he has a great YouTube channel. The, the mod is available. I'm actually going to leave the link here in the comment section below. The mod is available now for PC. And you can actually change the time of day just to reference Habib's uh, point that it is true and it's there and uh, it has been found. So go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, I You know, we worked really hard to, to get the dynamic lighting in because it meant that every single thing in the game had to be dynamically lit. Mm -hmm. Nothing could escape that. Mm. And that was a first, you know, to do that on a game. And whenever we we would uh, you know i fought hard to keep the option in for the player to go and change it because that's the whole fun of having it be dynamic is you go in there and say oh, i want to race on sunset you know during sunset or or noon so um the, but so they kept the option in but it was hard to find it because it was it was several steps down into the preferences and options yeah. mm -hmm. i love that move dean when you did that that was just like, oh. i love that yes that i remember you. that <laughs> yeah, dream. it's that tagline ahead of before it that uh, with Simone that it's like I've been they've been trying to get me to say that one word. <laughs> like, you know, it's like nope, not gonna do it. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean I'm just looking at those. You know, even my car, everything. This is bring back memories. I'm like I had a lot of fun doing it. I mean, you know, Simone. We, I think we were, it was one of the luckiest breaks I'd ever had with my career. I've worked with a lot of people and I've yeah. been to a lot of places, but this was really fun. And I think it wasn't until we were, I don't know, halfway through it or beyond that we realized that we had actually done something special and unique that no one had ever really done before. And I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll say to the ends of my day that I, I honestly believe that Habib is one of the, the, the the greatest artistic technical geniuses of our time oh, and that this man should have been given a lot more credit, not to mention money for some of the technology that he came up with that we yeah. all take for granted today. And I mean, they basically straight up robbed this man and didn't pay him in kind. Oh, and I mean, uh, it it's, no, Habib, it's true. It's right is right. And then it really upset me because I mean, you know, they, whether it be movies or other video games, I mean, they straight up reached into your pocket <laughs> it all depended on the year. It all depended on, on uh, how EA did as a whole. But uh, mm. I have a question here. Rachel Veer saying, uh, speaking of lighting and effects, have you, do you know the name of uh, most wanted black boxes in game engine? So uh, what was really interesting about uh, most wanted and the reason I feel it was came out so, so spectacular was uh, it was actually the merge of the black box team and the james bond team the black box mm -hmm. team was in downtown vancouver uh the james bond team that i, I worked on 007 everything or nothing with them mm -hmm. uh, were in burnaby in the main studio and oh. the two came together in downtown and formed this bigger team that we were trying to tackle next generation and next gen is you know all bets are off you have no idea what can fit on this new console like how many polygons as the car should be how many polygons the characters what resolution yeah. should the textures be mm -hmm. none of that is written anywhere and no one knows you, it was all trial and error so uh the team put together this new engine using all the best of both 
And we had people that had written physics for James Bond, like Wes Potter, who ended up doing physics for Need for Speed. So it just became this amazing hybrid. And Black Box, the, t- the team was amazing at rendering. Uh, you know, Arn, uh, the lead rendering guy, um, the lead developer, uh, did an amazing job. Um, you know, Colin O'Connor, uh, those guys were just, uh, you know, pushing new territory, unbelievable stuff where, uh, you know, some of them would go beyond my, my ex- expectation and dreams. You know, I'd come one day, Colin would say, hey, look, I got rays of shadows through the trees through smoke. So if you yeah. if you do a donut by a tree, you're gonna you can see the rays of the sun shadowing the, the tree oh, shadows oh. through the smoke. Wow. Yeah, that was some fire. That was a big deal. I wouldn't even think to ask for that <laughs> because it was it seemed so uh, computationally expensive. Wow, yeah, they, would, they would pull it out. Yeah. But yeah, it was yeah, uh, it was an amazing uh, feat to put it together. Custom Beautiful. engines are tough. Dean rocks. Yeah, <laughs> Dean rocks. <laughs> Dean, we miss you, man. We miss you. We need you back in. Uh oh, Dean. You know what everybody wants you to say. You know, I spent I spent a week trying to get. Just so you guys know, I spent a week trying to get Dean to say it. Okay, I've gotten many lines from Dean, which I'm very grateful for. I still have them saved on my PC uh, as a memory, and I cannot get this man to say it. <laughs> okay. All right. Can I? Can I? Can I? About that line and <laughs> the, I'll give you guys. Were you, were you there for it that day? You guys see where? Yeah, what am I saying? Okay. So I'm sorry. I are. still have no hearing in one ear. I don't know why <laughs> I've lost hearing in one ear. Okay. okay. So let me give you a little bit of backstory behind that one line. That <laughs> one with Habib. And Habib was having fun with me on it, and I could see it in his face. And I'm going like, nope, nope. So I tried to say that line every which way I could. And <laughs> Habib was having none of it. He was like, nope, nope, nope. That's not it. That's not it. Now, I had just seen The Professional. I had also <laughs> seen Gary Oldman's work. I would yeah. also watched a very young man, Portman and... Uh, you know, yeah, the lead actor, um, I, I'm, his name escapes me, my apologies. Uh, so I've seen the, that movie, and I mean, I understood the character arc of Gary Oldman's performance and all that stuff. And in my mind, I was thinking, if I do this the way Habib wants me to do this, it's not going to wow, be... Wow, it was Habib's idea, not David Footman, our director? No, Habib was trying to get me to say it that way. It wasn't... <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't David. See, Habib really legend. is the genius all behind Habib. this game. No. This was all Habib. Need for Speed needs so Habib back. So he, did, I mean, Habib harangued me and he badgered me and he pushed me to the point where I finally yelled out. And I tell you, Simone, <laughs> I tell you, Simone, as, as I live and breathe, it wasn't long before someone. <laughs> took Gary Oldman's performance and my performance, put them together yeah. and had, and it's kind of like, and I'm going, <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. But yeah. Habib, this was, that was Habib. And no, I ain't saying it. <laughs> Look, there's someone that has the, the notification on their messages as everyone, the scream. Look at that. My Jacko, my Jacko Garaz says, funny thing is I have a Dean line, everyone as the message notification. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I need to make a shirt that says everyone here. I'm making yes! a shirt. Yes, yes. Uh, hey, oh, we all, should, we all should, need one. You should do some some uh, for people wearing masks, you know? Oh, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> do some. Do some uh, Actually, you know what you could do? You could say, put a little thing, start and cross says. <laughs> oh, look, we got a cup. I the only way that I would ever do this uh-huh. is if I was if they were trying to get people say at the beginning of this whole pandemic. Oh, sorry, wrong one. If I was at the beginning of this pandemic and somebody came up to me from whatever <laughs> and said, "Look, we need to get people on board with wearing a mask and and practicing social distancing, and we're going to do a, a commercial stuff like that." Would you be willing to do that? And if I got permission from, or I don't know if I would need permission after this point. 
all these years later, would I do it? And I think that'd be the only way that I would actually do that line is if I was going to get everyone to get on board. With Sorry, that. you'd get who? What? Ah, she you can't get, hear you, you man. She can't hear you. you get who? <laughs> she, she could not hear anything you said. You broke her ear. You broke her ear. Get, she still has issues. Ooh, did you say everyone? <laughs> I'm going to make a for that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to get together soon, right? You guys are going <laughs> to sign that BMW M3 GTR soon. Is that happening? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Again, as soon as they, uh, they, uh, they release this all socially, um, yeah, I'm heading down. I'm going to be heading down. Like I said, my I'm still going to be. Uh, I've got a project with Habib that I'm. I'd like to. Uh, he wants me to do, or that uh, I can't wait to do, and spend some time. We're going. I mean, Simone and I are going to go sit on a sit in a cafe and have a couple drinks. You know, in uh, West Hollywood at some point, and uh, yeah. Oh I'm my be, God, I'm so jealous. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's the plan. We'll. Uh, so when I'm oh, in town, I'll you. come down and I'll sign it. Yeah, I'll buy. I'll buy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told I told I told Dean I was like, hey man, if you're ever in Houston, Texas, let me know. I'll buy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get no. to Cohibas and we just. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Are you allowed to have those? Because last I heard, they were made okay by one president. Another president you said, "I'm not so fast." Well, here's the thing. This is Texas. <laughs> we make our own rules. You can have my Cohiba when you claw out of my dead, cold hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll. Uh, I'm. I'm probably gonna leave. Like I. I literally. I have a. I have a. Um, a humidor filled with uh, Cohiba Espuditos. But oh. just when I go back and forth across the border, I still have my my Upmans and my uh, my Panchabanas and my Bolivars and. I basically take the bands off them because it's just, you know what? I shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> so I, yeah, but uh, I love my, I love my, uh, I love my Cubans. But uh, I'm yeah. Cuban, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, yeah. well, then, you know, I'm just gonna claim I'm Cuban too. So yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could be. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, this so, is funny. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, with, in regards to that 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 signing, uh, yeah, the the moment, the first chance that Simone and I get to get together and be down there, absolutely, I'll be happy to sign that uh, that vehicle. I know uh, Derek's gonna be there too. I believe he he told me about the signing. Okay, great. Yeah, he, he said I'm gonna be over there. So uh, he said uh, I'm, they reached out to me to sign the car, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that this car is actually coming to life like that. So. So and Habib's gonna sign it. You're gonna. Sign I'm gonna it. be nervous where, where signing the car. In? I think what? they're in LA. In I think LA? the car's in LA, isn't it? The BMW M3. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. You were saying? Sorry? I'm sorry. I'm talking. Come around. It's like the... this is my sorry guys. This is my friend. Uh, this is my friend Frankie Emboss. He's uh, one of the most psychotic car guys that I, I know. What's going on, Frankie? No, I know. So he wants more channel. This is. Uh, what channel are we on this on this again, um, Simone? He wants to follow this. What channel? Simone are Bailey's you... channel. Oh, it's on Simone oh. Bailey YouTube. But mm -hmm. you'll get an echo though if you listen right now because yeah. Yeah, because it's okay. gonna start cycling through because, on the audio. Because we're live, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. So Simone Bailey. At, Simone uh, Bailey. Simone Bailey at Bingo. Yeah. 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 That's you found right. her. You found her there. No, I haven't found her yet. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. No, no, oh, Blacklist Garage, we are looking forward to meeting you. It's made for the fans. Yes, we are in LA. That's him. Is that is that the guy? Is that the the uh, one of the people that are working on the car? I'm yeah. guessing. I'm oh, guessing. Oh, yeah. oh, there it is. That's it. That's <laughs> the guy. That's those are the people that are working on the car right now. That that's the we are yeah. very yeah. excited. Yeah. Son of a gun. Simone. Wow. These people are coming out of woodwork for you. Hey, if you find a king uh, on, on the side door, you know who did it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I wonder if they're going to be scared or do they want you to key the car? Dude, I don't know. It would be cool to we have the key on the side. That, that Dude, would be perfect. The king of the car, man. Okay, like Blacklist Garage, you tell us. Do you want Cross to key your car? He will oh, key let it. Us know. <laughs> let us know in the chat because we, we could uh, make that a whole, like, documentary event oh my god yes i would i mean that's it's supposed to happen if it's the correct history it has to be keyed oh thank you <laughs> oh wait a minute do i get the key to car 
Well, that's the, that's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. That's what I'm pushing for. I think if it really is going to be authentic, then you need it to key it. It has to it be keyed, man. We can even film it. Get that's what I'm saying. To- yeah. 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 Film it. Yes. Whatever the car goes is going to have the key on the side. It's going to be like, dude, do you remember when he keyed your car? It still has the key in it. Boom. Just like that. <laughs> do the it. Ricky Media says do it. <laughs> okay. All right. It's the only way to make it official. What Correct. better signature? Right what, what's answer. What's the best way to get the signature in there, guys? Yeah. You know, Every, <laughs> see, everyone wants you to do it. You know, you know, being here like this, I would absolutely tomorrow agree to do another Need for Speed if, if we could get everybody together. Um, and Habib was helming this. I mean, do you mean everyone or? <laughs> well, listen, there's a together. There's and, a comment. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, make, you're killing me. They say to, they say make sure to say a nice pinstripe. Oh, it'll be deep, baby. It'll be deep. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a comment by Initial Das, and again, we don't know how how uh, correct this could be, but Derek posted uh, a few uh, weeks ago that uh, EA, someone from EA, had reached out to him and said that if the fans want uh, the actors to return, that they had already considered it. It had been on the talks, and I can actually confirm this because what? I know people. Yes, I know. Wait, again, who said wait. what? So Derek said that EA reached out to him and said that that it had been on the talks where the really? fans want you guys so bad to come back into the game in one way or another that we need to keep asking for it. And that will be the case. So, um, and again, this is a comment by initial Das. He said, Derek posted on Instagram that he was contacted by Criterion regarding a future Need for Speed game. Have you guys been contacted about this as well? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even if it's on a, on a small section of the game, like an extra mission or a secret mission, this will be a fantastic idea. This will be the like this will sell. That's right. Win-win. This will sell. Are you kidding me? This is what you call printing money with no effort. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this will be like <laughs> I'm done. Take my money. It, it has one says, we have two versions being made. We could let him key one. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. <laughs> oh my. As a matter of fact, actually, I'm done here. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, my buddy here, we're gonna uh, kind of like reenact doing the uh, the king outside on his M5. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's gonna let me do it for real, but, but who knows? <laughs> hey, just just so you guys know, the, I have already a leak for the next Need for Speed. One of the versions is called the Keyed version. <laughs> <laughs> Keyed well, edition. Okay. Oh, right. we could call All it Keyed for Speed. Keyed for Speed. Oh, Keyed for <laughs> speed. <laughs> Speed. <laughs> okay, guys. In all seriousness, now, I mean, I guess you can take this and you can. Uh, this is my yes to yes, EA Games. If you guys decide that uh-huh. you would really like for us to come back, I will talk to my representation <laughs> in LA as well as my reputation representation here up to, up north, and I'm sure we can work something out. But oh hell yes, I will come back and aggravate the heck out of all the gamers globally. Because Matter of fact, <laughs> um, guys, if you guys know the head of the head CEO of Criterion that's in charge of the next project for 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 the next game, uh, his name is Matt Webster. Okay, Matt Webster. I'm gonna type it on the chat right now. And yeah. uh, if one person needs to hear that, has to be him. Oh, right. well, so we want I've all the fans it. to contact Matt Webster. Yeah, and I wouldn't say like um, you know I don't know he's kind of he probably is hard to find. Um, he's on LinkedIn, and I already sent him a message. Well, like, he's hey, on LinkedIn, so there you go. I found him on LinkedIn, but you know I sent him a message and I was like, hey, let's do an interview. I want to know what you're all about. I want to see what uh, you know what Criterion is trying to do with the next Need for Speed game, because I kind of feel like you know Criterion uh, has said it many times that they have a stronger connection with the community. They said, hey, we want to hear what the fans want. And that kind of matches with what uh, Derek told me because I, as soon as I found out about Derek being approached by EA, there, I, I, I called. It was twelve midnight. I had a, a one hundred one fever. Okay, I'm sick. I'm in the couch. I felt like I was dying. If there's one thing that got me off my couch with a one hundred one fever, was that. Okay, <laughs> as soon as I found out about that post from Derek, it was twelve midnight in Houston, Texas, and I jumped off my couch sweating, and I'm like, Derek, is this true? Okay, is this true? Because they don't play with my heart like that. And uh, he said, yes, someone from EA said, if the fans want this, they need to keep asking for it. And he and Derek said, 
And if it's not me, please let it be one of the other guys. He said, I don't care if it's well, me or not. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wow. Well, that's the thing, though. If if we were they were gonna do that, I'd really want all of us to be back doing it. I mean, that's the only thing because yeah, I'm Simone's got a whole bunch of fans out there that basically went through puberty with her. You know, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, hold on, man. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some of the stuff on my Instagram page, Simone, that I've gotten with them talking about you. Make me blush, okay? <laughs> I'm serious. So I'm just saying, and I have my fan base, and Derek's got his, and we all do. You all do. I, I you all do. With Habib basically <laughs> doing what he does. That's the only way that this would be really, really, really authentically uh, uh, a return to most wanted or to what we did back then. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I just yeah. wouldn't, it wouldn't feel right if we've got somebody else kind of like doing whatever they're doing without us giving the fans an authentic revisiting of that game. I mean, Habib, you know David what it's like. David Putman. David Putman. To direct. So the changes, part two, yeah, that would be players, great. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so no, yeah, I, I, I think for sure it would be something. It. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll and, and it, this this right here on live stream. I mean, everybody's listening. Uh, Dean is definitely interested. Simone wants uh, to be part of this. Uh, Habib, obviously, he he's the madman behind the the tag, right? Yeah, that can Habib we get Habib back? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> if Habib, or have was... you gone to the the blockbuster movie world? And, and uh, no I mean, have you back? seen what oh, he did yeah. with uh, Blade Runner? You know, and stuff like that. What well, would you go back now to? You know. Talking about Derek, you know, and and the main characters, right? And uh, I don't know, I don't know what um, what's her name, Mia is doing, right? I forgot her name on Josie on Moran. Josie Moran. Josie Moran. Uh, yeah. I've reached out to her many times, but she's busy with her product line. I don't think she's acting anymore. But regardless, I mean, I think EA will sell will sell millions because of something like this. I mean, they, they know it. it, it it's uh, yeah. it's not only nostalgia, but it's also the fact that we still love you guys. It's not just, oh, they were great. They're yeah. good people and they're good actors and they know what they're doing if you put them in the right circumstances. You know what I mean? So, Well, again, it was Habib that basically, uh, I'm sure Habib was one to push for me to get that to become Sergeant Cross. Um, and oh, yeah. the thing of it is, is that I like the way you're strangely silent there, Habib, on that everyone line. You know, <laughs> you who made me do that, and it's like I love the way you went radio dark right there. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a collaboration, but you know, when we heard your your audition, I mean, you know, we were silent after that. You know, because <laughs> you you laid down the law. We were like, okay, he's the guy. Yeah. You, you know, it was really yeah. really strong. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, Oh, yeah, no. Know. You know what I would love Habib to do? I would love for Habib to to come out on on the game, kind of like the the director of the Marvel movies, like for him to just come out of nowhere on a small cameo. Like he would just be like, I'll be like, he'll be the one arresting you from one of the from one of the cop cars. He'll be putting slamming you against the the flo the, the, the hood of the car. Yes, like one of the bosses. <laughs> Habib should be a cop. He should be a cop in the next game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, definitely. Dude, you know, like, like, oh, thank you, Habib, for for making Need for Speed what it is today. Like, if <laughs> Most Wanted wouldn't have taken off the way it did, Need for Speed wouldn't be selling like it's still selling today, in my opinion. Would you guys agree? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it, look again. I mean, you're preaching to the choir here. I know what this man is capable of, and the only way that that game came off the way it came off was because of Habib with. Well, he had a team yeah. of people around him, et cetera, and a really good director, David Footman. But at the end of the day, let's face it, artistic direction, you know, visual. <laughs> they want you in the game, well. Habib. We want him to be a villain. <laughs> then you can oh, double oh. dip. I need can... to get a white cat. But, you know, seriously, like, um, you know, I think the great thing with about the game was, uh, you know, I was allowed to push the visuals really hard because we had this new platform, the Xbox 360 coming, and we mm -hmm. just wanted to hit it hard. And the artists that I was working with were amazing. And then on the other side, you had the producers and designers developing the, where the streets go and how the gameplay is going to progress. And it was such an amazing collaboration. And that's why games are so hard to make. That's yeah. why it's so hard to make a, a hit game, because you have all the different 
parts of it that need to work together and and go hand in hand. And you know, uh, what I was proud of is the visuals we were able to pull off on that machine. And uh, I've told this to LP. It's basically we we were able to uh, you know I had to desaturate that game fifty percent to get that look oh, because consoles really? love pushing color. They just love amplifying saturation and. This is all yeah. about being this illicit game. And every time you add saturation, you risk kind of the not, theme. not making it the right vibe. So that was the discussion I would have with uh, Michael Mann, the producer in the title. We, we would have these like percentage of saturation discussions. <laughs> there he is. There he is. And I'm actually letting them uh, play the game and, and fly around. They were seeing the environments. That's and, crazy. And man. so you know, the, the, all of that to come together and us be able, be able to pull off the cinematics the way we did, you know, uh, because it was completely experimental. You know, they, they were just trusting oh, me to go God. with it. And we, you know, we had to shave uh, Derek's uh, uh, body hair. So, he, he, yeah, he, he, we were he, laughing he, about that. <laughs> we were like, uh, should I we say no that? <laughs> yeah, he said that. But it was, uh, wow. it was you know, I'm really uh, happy and uh, honored to, to have been part of that. I mean, real quick, credit to you on on the fact that your your team got the the Xbox uh, the previous version to run on what 32 megabytes. What was yeah, it? 32. That's right. The PS PS uh, the PS2 to run on 32 yeah. megabytes. Yeah. Today yeah. consoles have eight gigabytes. You know. Yeah. <laughs> they only yeah. had crazy. they only had 32 megabytes with the operating system stuck in it. <laughs> Yeah, wow. there was yeah we were left with like eight megabytes for the whole city, and that includes geometry, textures, animation, because you have how to have the uh, how did you, you do have, that? How it, were you it, it able was, to do that? It Nobody knows. Brutal. <laughs> it was brutal. It was brutal. It was. It always felt like fitting a watermelon through the one inch hole, you know, because yep. you, you got all so many things that have to go in, and then the 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 programmers, developers would compress things, make things more optimal. We had to cut the city into pieces. And as you're driving, we're loading pieces of the city. you notice that they're mm -hmm. loaded. So dynamic loading was something we developed actually on James Bond and brought over. So that was kind of like benefiting, uh, you know, the, the hybrid, the, all of this stuff. Uh, PS3, look at that. PS3 was years later, years later. This was 2005. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah, by then yeah. probably Carbon. No, not Carbon. Uh, yeah. Undercover. Because... Undercover came out after that. I have a copy of Carbon. On a, a on a later platform, a later um console, so they can make it. They can take those old games and basically bring them back for the for the newer. newer well, console. Dean, just to give you some rumors, uh, right now uh, EA is remastering a whole lot of their games, like a lot, and the rumor is that Need for Speed is in that list. Okay, so there's a Need oh, for Speed Need game awesome. out there in the remaster list uh, for Need we, for Speed. We uh, don't know which one's going to. Oh, be. they might remaster us. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you don't need a remaster. You're good. We oh, we're good. File. Okay. We're good. Well, because I know one of the fans was asking for that. They're well, like, "Well, yeah." So, so it sounds like it. EA is working on a remaster for Need for Speed right now uh, because yeah, they, they have been yeah. doing it for other games. So, if they're doing one for Need for Speed, a lot of the people that I've reached out to are asking for a most wanted rem remastered, a most wanted original to get remastered. And if they choose to remaster that game, that is just an indication of how much uh, a Criterion would appreciate uh, capitalizing on a, on a new installment on it. So we don't know. We don't know if it's going to be that one or, or a Hot Pursuit title. We don't know yet. But it, it, like credit to what you said, Dean, uh, Need for Speed games are, are key to a remaster opportunity this year because they have already remastered other games that EA has made. They remastered uh, Burnout. You, I don't know. Habib, do you ever hear about Burnout? Do you ever get involved with Burnout at all or no? No, we would meet with the team, you know, uh, they, would, they would come see what we're doing and we would, you know, share some stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she, Simone needs no remastering. She needs no remastering. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to come back. That's what she needs to do. <laughs> but, you know, what I like is, uh, you know, one of the things between having worked on films and games, uh, one of the tough things with games is how they're sort of left in the past. Like, if the console breaks you know, or, or get, becomes too old to play and all that stuff. It's really hard to, I mean, PC games, you can probably put a game in from, you know, the originals and from the 80s still, still go from the 80s. Mm -hmm. But I think, um, you know, movies have done, a, been able to like 
update themselves and now you can stream them and all that stuff. But we don't have that kind of thing yet. There are streaming uh, platforms now. Google's got one. Uh, yeah. And I think Sony had one. But basically, um, it, to remaster, it's great to keep things alive because it's really so much work goes into those things and then it get, kind of gets forgotten or lost because it, it's kind of hardware dependent. And, and well, to me, my opinion... They're not there's... allowing us to forget, uh, anyone to forget uh, Most Wanted because, again, even just a couple of days ago on my Instagram, I was just getting just inundated with um, questions about Most Wanted. When are you coming back? Are they going to bring the game back? Are you going to yeah. do it again? Would you do it again? And it's kind of like... I, you know, I, I, I'll answer as best I can, Oops. but it's just like, I've been, I've been being since, since day one on Insta, Instagram. Remember I've that? That question constantly, <laughs> you know, and it's kind of like, I just wish somebody would, other than me would be able to answer definitively for everybody out there so yeah. that I don't have to keep on trying to respond awkwardly to it because yes, 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 I would come back. And I know most everybody else, if they're not busy on other projects, would love to do it again. I mean, mm -hmm. I, yep. you know, no brainer. I mean, yes, it was a fun time and we'd love to, but none of us are saying, no, we won't do it. So it's not us. Okay. Yep. So if, Dean, can you everyone out there, if you want a return of the game of Simone, myself, Razor, everybody, you, the fans, <laughs> gamers have got to ask them. EA, yes. All yeah. of them. Got to go after them. It's your money that they want. So mm -hmm. you ask them for what you want, like mommy and daddy at Christmas. You want something <laughs> else for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just the talent. Okay. I am not the mastermind genius behind this all. I do not own a corporation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There the I'm everyone there. edition. The I everyone edition. I will buy it. I'll buy it. That's perfect marketing right there. <laughs> I, I I'm telling you, um, Dean, uh, you you did a you your voice was some payback. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, funny enough, um, <laughs> I got a phone call. My agent called me and said, um, they're not telling me much, but they want you to go out to the campus. Um, they want you to do to record something for them. And yeah. I said, What? What who does? And they say, EA Games. Well, what? Need for speed. Not need for um, for yeah need for speed, so I don't know how many years ago I totally forgotten about this. They sent me. I went out there. Um, I go into the bowels of EA Games. Um, Habib knows what I'm talking about downstairs where all the recording studios are, and and uh, I'm talking to some director who's calling me from somewhere in Europe or Aust I don't even remember. And he's saying, "Look, Dean, blah 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 blah's case. We want you to lay down some tracks." because we like to put you in this. And he said, look, actually, I wanted you in on this game physically, but we ran out of time and ran out of room. So what I want to do is lay down this track with you in this game as a teaser for Sergeant Cross coming back. So yes, they did reach out to me too. Okay, so uh, there you go. See, there was a reach out right there. There you go. Well, wow, and some people me. want a movie. Oh my God! Why don't we do a movie and it'll be our Fast and Furious? Dude, I would do a big, dude. That's what I want to do anyway. You know, I was I, pitching uh, them to make a Need for Speed movie for a long time <gasps> while I was there. They made a Need for Speed film that came out. Um, yeah, Habib, let's do it. I don't know how I, it did okay. I think, but but uh, it'd be cool to have a most wanted. Movie. Oh my God! If they if they if they rewrote the most wanted saga with the original actors That's and then like right. made it into an actual you know <laughs> Hollywood film, I would watch it. Like I would. Oh I'll die to my! Watch that. We would make that so amazing. <laughs> Think of the cars, Dean. Think of the cars. You know what? You know, like, I, here's an idea, Habib. We start the movie off like a video game. Now we'll work out the details in the storyline, but we go from being in a game console into real life. Now I'm chasing a whole bunch of these racers, but I don't know what world I'm in. And that's what I'm thinking. You go from literally on screen from a gaming console to now yeah. chasing the villain who managed to escape the game into the real world. And now we're escaped. Simone and I have also followed that, that, that gaming um, character, whoever that person is into the real world in the Corvette, 
chasing and simone of course hijacks another car and now we're doing it so that's what i'm thinking it's just so you like, go, folks you're listening like, to the first planning doable. meeting for the next <laughs> movie. yes it is doable nothing it is doable. Is right Dean, you know, we're microwave gonna, style need for speed. Uh, set up some uh, Zoom meetings after this. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Sean and Derek. <laughs> yes. And even even if we don't have like let's say the budget for a, for like a really big film, we could do like shorts and stuff like that. I mean, it would be cool to see like maybe some shorts. Yeah. I think we could do full movie. I, no, I really believe in us. All or nothing. All. I, or nothing. I think that we could do our own franchise. Hey, listen, man, I'm all up for it, 100. percent Hey, look, look at, remember when Ooh. Fast and Furious got started? Who would have ever thought that Nobody. it would go from that first movie to now what? Calvin and, um, I mean, Hobbs and Shaw. I've watched Calvin. Hobbs and Shaw like 20 <laughs> times. I love that movie. I really, yeah. really do. It's, so. it's good. It was made really well. It's made really well. Um, What is it, nine films now that they have? Oh, yeah. I just, nine you know films. what? That's crazy. I, I don't know. But I tell you one thing, though, that when I found out that Paul Walker had passed, I, it really affected me. I, I really did like him as a person, as an actor. Oh, yeah. and he was it an really amazing human being. It, it did upset me. I mean, I have to admit, I do mean, to this day, I, I sometimes do have a problem. I, I don't think I've watched any of the, uh, the Fast and Furious that he's been in since he has gone. I watched the later stuff, but I just, it just, just reminding me of him is just, it, 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 it does get to me. It does. It, it's I tough, man. You it's, know, it's a tough you know there's uh, 250 shots of him fully CG. That Weta did that they didn't really talk about. Yeah, 250 yeah. shots. Yeah, you were talking about time. it the other day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, incredible. Like you'd never guess. It just like, you know, he's walking down, you know, holding that baby and gets in the car, like just normal stuff. Yeah, um, on that yeah. last scene, I, I almost cried. Like I was like, okay, I need to get out. Like I can't yeah. stand this because I'm a I'm I a dad myself, mean, and when I see stuff like that, it, it affects me. Uh -huh. I mean, I just think about what could have been because the shows were getting just better and better and better. And I mean, to the point now where you're having like Oscar winners doing spin-offs. I mean, it's yeah. just amazing. And so again, I'll say nothing is impossible. impossible. Look what and happened with the Doom movie. You saw that? They made another movie with the Doom character, like the, the Doom uh, storyline. So Doom? I don't know if you can. Yeah, so th there was the first Doom movie with Dwayne Johnson, right? Yeah. And then there was another Doom movie that was just made recently, okay? Uh, so. They there was another one. It didn't. It didn't hit. Like it, it didn't get a, a lot of you know, uh, uh, you know, push. Right. It was not a, obviously. It's not a full fledged uh, Hollywood film that they spent. You know, I don't know, three hundred million dollars on. Right. But I think that at the end of the day, like regardless of the small budget that they had for that film, I mean, it was still done pretty well for a low budget film. Uh, and there is a Doom remake. So again, I feel like Need for Speed is one of those games that uh, EA knows how much money they're, they're, they have on the name. You know how much money is worth. Yes, we want Simone Bailey. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so yeah, you know, it, you, you guys get my point. Oh, oh, Rachel God. Veer says, has, have you seen yeah. the leaked most yeah. wanted video game sex symbol? Built by Criterion and with the approval of Criterion sequel ver version, even though it was scrapped. No, I have not seen that actually. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. And by the way, real credit here, I got Christian Bandur saying here, are you guys aware of streamers like Kuru HS who's streaming on most wanted on Twitch with 500 plus viewers? So there's multiple YouTubers, I mean, content, uh, you know, streamers on YouTube, not just me and other content creators. Uh, for example, Kuru has been has played most wanted. This this one that we're talking about in this live stream, he's probably played it like maybe 10 or 20 times. Like play through completely in one day in one live stream for eight hours straight, and uh, I do want to give that wow. guy credit because he has played that game on maybe ten different uh, versions of the game that modders have made. Okay, like they have gone into the game, changed the files up, and made a complete different Need for Speed Most Wanted in terms of like certain races and and, and physics and settings with the cops, and it's crazy because you guys are behind this magic. People are still playing the game and watching the game on Twitch today. Yeah, wow. on Twitch. Okay, on um, Twitch the game is still being played. Amazing. I, I'm 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 stunned. I, yeah, I it's really, still on. I'm stunned. I, I, wow. It's, I know, right, Dean? I know. It's hard to believe that a video game could take off that far. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it it it's literally unbelievable. Has, has any other game out there really?
had this much traction. This much. The, only those other big ones uh, like Call of Duty and stuff like that. But Need for Speed in terms of racing, I've never seen another one. Mm. True. Never seen anything from from the racing point of view from arcade racing. No, no, especially that specific game, Most Wanted. Uh, a ton of people play Hot Pursuit 2010. That game is still very popular, but it's just ridiculous the amount of people that play Most Wanted. It's it's a whole different level. Like Most Wanted is still in a whole different level. So there's some trivia uh, where um, I don't know if you guys know Dave Footman and I did. Um, the animatics for the cinematics using uh, Hot Wheels cars and foam core. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Think, There's that stuff like that? Yeah, I still have a cut of that somewhere, and you you know, and you can match it shot to shot, like where you know where, where you see the car come into the uh -huh. uh, into the industrial uh, yard, and then uh, the camera cranes down, and all of these things. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Footman was great at shot planning, and so <clears throat> he would take a little phone <clears throat> phone camera and film it, yeah, and cut it together. Um, had a lot of fun that way. By the way, there's a little side note to that. Uh, they have used Grand Theft Auto V, uh, uh, you know, very popular video game. I think that's another one of those games that I could say uh, lines up with Most Wanted in terms of popularity. Uh, the the Grand Theft Auto saga, right? Well, they have used Grand Theft Auto cinematic system. Okay, the Grand Theft Auto cinematic system to recreate Need for Speed Most Wanted cinematics in terms of racing and, 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 and pursuits. Wow. They have used Grand Theft Auto <laughs> system to do, to try to remaster the graphics and create trailers, like fan-made trailers for a potential second Need for Speed Most Wanted video game. All right, not heard about that. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Matter of fact, on my channel, I have one video where I asked EA, I swear, I swear. There's one video that I made where I asked for all of you guys to come back and I made like a little like uh, trailer, like cinematic, and it has 1.4 million views. Okay. Wait, a video you made? Yeah. I'll, I'll send wow. you the link. You can watch it later. It has 1.4 million views where I asked uh, uh, EA at the end and it's a whole cinematic playing cross Corvette, playing uh, a racer, playing the most wanted UTR, right? And at the end, I tell EA in big letters saying, please, EA, give us another Most Wanted. Yes. Or make Most Wanted too. And the video got 1.4 million views. And that's the moment where I well, realized. that's a message right there. I was like. That's if, insane. If, 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 and I'm talking about a YouTuber that only at that point in time. And again, I'm not big in any shape or form right now anyway. But I had. 32,000, no, maybe like 20 something thousand subscribers. Okay. When I made that video and it was just out of a little corner in a computer in a small room. And imagine if a YouTuber that has 1 million subscribers made the same video, how many more views that video would have gotten. Right. So you can see the correlation. Like people do want this game. People want most wanted. Oh, well, that's the question. That's what I was wondering. I mean, for the, for the last, oh, however long since I've been doing this, the question that I've, I've been, you know, when I'm having a quiet moment um, and I'm thinking about this after I've, I've been, you know, back and forth with people on Instagram, mm -hmm. what is the hesitation? Why the, why the reticence to not seriously, you know, take a look at this from EA Games and the powers that be? And so up until today, with all the new information that you've been, you've been putting out there, I was just, just wondering, like, how do you refuse to not improve your bottom line by a few hundred million dollars with a modicum of effort because everything else yeah. is already done? You don't have to basically go through casting. You don't have to come up with a storyline. Hell, the technology is all there. And mm -hmm. the people that did it will pretty much come back and do it. So all you yeah. got to do is section off the time, the space, where it's going to be shot, get the writers in the room, sit down with the powers that be, and voila. It's kind of like, I don't know, deciding you know what car to drive. It's just that simple. Uh, yeah. And uh, actually, another thing I want to point out is there's another video out there, another cinematic uh, that was made by, it's simple, it's just a small screen transition. That one beat mine at 2.5 million views called Need for Speed Most Wanted Teaser Trailer 2019. And that one got 2.5 million views, okay? 
from a YouTuber that has 11,000 subscribers, okay? 11,000 subscribers. <laughs> Simone? You see what I mean? Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, this is... This is it's I'm confused. ready for the video game, the movie franchise. I'm here for it all. The TV series, the conventions. I mean, let's do it. What are we waiting for, people? Oh, come on. Well, come as on. soon as we get off this, that's our yeah. next move, right? Yeah. We happen to know the artistic director. Yeah. <laughs> He's right there. Uh, I'm ready to get in a fancy car and, and drive. I mean, I, that's what I love to do anyway. Yep. Uh, you know? It's yes. crazy, man. And if it's we can crazy. work where GM gives me uh, one of the latest C series Corvettes to basically get my juices flowing again, I'm down with it. I'll take the car. What the heck? <laughs> it, makes, <laughs> it makes perfect sense, guys. Think about it. Like we have all these racing games this year in 2019, just to give you guys a little bit of background on the on the <laughs> racing scenario right now, on the situation with racing games. We haven't really gotten a racing game that everybody goes, wow, this is iconic. Okay, the closest they got to iconic, and here's another sign to add more value to what you're saying, Dean. When Need for Speed Heat came out, guess what? It had the BMW M3 GTR. Okay. Uh -huh. And that game had a ton of it was very popular. You know, I told you the story when we first started talking about Heat together. Okay. Yeah. And it had a ton of traction. After that game. That's it. The racing community has gone right back down to just plateauing. Uh, nothing where you you feel like, wow, we have we done it again. You know, we have gotten to that point again of selling 60 million copies. And that's the part where you, you, you keep seeing that, that trend where it's like, if mm. nobody wants to get out of the comfort zone and do something completely outrageous and do something crazy... Then we're gonna go right back to that same plateau where nothing really is happening. Well, yeah. there's, there's a danger in it, and I'm not saying this is gonna happen, but um, you can only keep going to that well so many times before the well dries up and they go elsewhere. So yeah. the thing here is, if you really want to, if I'm a corporation and I really want to uh, make my company really, really uber relevant again, I kind of go back to what made me great. But I didn't go to Harvard. I only went to a simple university out east. In, in <laughs> well, you, want, you want perfect yeah. examples. Dean, you want perfect examples. Uh, and you guys can probably agree with me, Simone and Habib. Mm. A lot of people right this year are doing exactly what you just said, going back to basics. A lot of people yeah. are doing that. You know why? Because they drifted so far away trying to, oh, uh, you know, PR, let's go ahead and do this again. Go with the trend. Go with the trend. Go with the trend. Go with the trend that people at the end of the day just like you're losing your identity. Try and follow, trying to follow trends causes you to inevitably lose your identity. And your fans. And your fans. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I just... I would just love to. I'm. I'm happy. I said again. I'm happy to respond to to the fans and, but you know, it just it 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 to a point. It kind of like I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, like because no one seems to quite understand why it is that they're not seriously considering um, another most wanted. I mean, it it really doesn't make any sense to them, and it makes you know the same amount of you know to me that I, I don't understand why you wouldn't even put something out there so that everybody out there in the gamer world, you know, ha can basically respond to it and they can Guys, find out for themselves. You want a perfect example? What's one game last year in 2019 that came out with the first one with a very trendy name that they brought back to life? Does anybody want to recall that? I think I, I spoke to Habib about this game that came out again with the same old name, the same old name. No excuses. They didn't do this, this, and that extra. They call their game the same way they call their game originally, without the four. There's the hint. Without the four. It's a shooter. First-person shooter. I don't know. You don't know? Habib, you don't know the, the game that I was talking to you about the last time? It's a shooter. Iconic shooter that today still sells millions and made over $6 billion. Call of Duty? There you go. What game did they take out in 2019 at the end? Uh... What was it called? Modern Warfare. Exactly. What well, was their first hit? 
Modern uh, Warfare? Th like their first major hit. Modern Warfare. Call yeah, of Duty Modern true. Warfare. Uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was a huge hit. Right? And then last year, they took out Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And how much money have they made from Modern Warfare? Ridiculous. Ridiculous amounts of money. Like, so you're I'm telling me that they, they redid the game? They redid the game with new, like they use, uh, uh, they use new actors because the previous actors back then were not even real actors. They were just what was it like, just the signs, right? Uh, Habib, yeah. For for Call of Duty, it was not even like actual face captures. It was just, you know, uh, a voice capture. Well, now mm -hmm. the, in 2019, they released Modern Warfare, the same name of, of they use the name as clickbait and and nostalgia grab because it works. And yeah. sure enough. Modern Warfare right now, even though uh, obviously, you know, a small part of the franchise are like always going to say, well, you know, you already took out this game, made something new. But the biggest uh, amount of the community purchased it. As soon as they saw Modern Warfare, guess what happened? Boom. Name bye. 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 Name bye. recognition. Name recognition. Bye. Name recognition. Name recognition. Name recognition. So, hey, I, I, so, so again, um, again, I'm just... <laughs> You just said this. I don't understand it. And I'm belaboring this because, again, I've been asked every single time. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm getting this literally. So take your pick. The Middle East, Australia, New Zealand, uh, China, Japan, uh, Spain, throughout Europe. I mean, I keep getting that same question. When are you going to come back and play the game and, and do Need for Speed, Most Wanted Part 2, or Most Wanted Carbon? When, when, when? And it's kind of like, do these guys think that I'm actually sitting up in some office in EA Games, my feet up going, I've done my work, I don't want to do this again? Well, mm -hmm. no, I'm not. I mean, again, war. <laughs> we will come back. Stop asking us. Talk <laughs> to EA Games. Because I can't give you an answer, okay? Only the people at EA Game. Get in touch with LP Ripper 24. Bang on his door for a little bit. You know? <laughs> Go harass Habib. I mean, I'm looking at my door real quick. I'm like, is it strong enough? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. I'm an actor. I'll go where they send me. I mean, Kind of hoish that way. Send me some place. Give me some money. I'll perform. So well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> tell me what you want. But 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 I don't know. I I I wish I did. I wish I could tell you. I wish I could come on the show today and say, guys, I've got some breaking news. I just spoke to the people at uh, at EA Games. We're in talks right now. Um, I'm coming That's it. back. <laughs> I'm coming back. Yeah. I'm, Trust, I'm, you know how crazy you, you they know basically they, they they came back with a number that me and my people liked and uh uh and only if simone my co-star from the first the other one would will get her name and be a named recognized character and she gets her own corvette we've come to terms <laughs> wow. we've come to the agreement Lambo or GTI or you know she gets her Lambo whatever the heck she wants <laughs> she gets that and She's now a lieutenant. How's that? Okay. Yeah, you know, at the at the end of payback. By the way, in that in that scene in payback where you where you do have your line, you say, "Hey, you're tired of everything. You you've had it with this. You're going back to Rockport." I know. And and I, and I I'm sure that the Need for Speed community would love to see what a modern day Rockport will look like after you know ten. Mm. You know how many years? Fifteen years actually. After fifteen years. I can, okay, I can help you with that. We enter Rockport. I walk into an old police station that's kind of better times. Oh, you're giving me that, that treatment. Yeah. Office. I walk into an office that's strangely enough empty. Yes. I spin the chair around a couple of times and I sit down. And then I'm thinking and I'm thinking. And then there's a knock at right. the door. It's Simone. <laughs> she has got to come back. We look at each other. Then we go, we know what we have to do. And she goes, yep, I know. I know. Uh, it's going to be mean. It's yeah. going to be horrible. There will be some loss of life. And they say, well, collateral damage be damned. We get into our cars. 
we start to run everybody the hell down because the racers <laughs> have now owned the streets for the last 20 odd years. Now we're coming back and we're going to clean the streets up one effing racer at a time. Everybody is going down. Oh, yeah. Man. You told Frank us. Franklin you told, says, told. Selfie Ripper, we need Simone Dean and Razorback for Need for Speed. Yeah. Most wanted too. Imagine Rockport gets cleaned up one street at a time. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, it, it obviously, the, and I know I'm going to uh, bring up uh, one final point here before I don't know what, what you guys' plans are, but um, think about this this way mm. the the world. The, the racing community, obviously, it's not the same community that it used to be back in the Fast and Furious days, right? It's not the same setting that it used to be back in the day, right? But clearly, Fast and Furious has evolved to continue to e evolve with these cars and the characters, right? So even if EA says, well, uh, some of, some of their, their, their contracts could be, well, they don't fit in anymore. It doesn't fit into the scene anymore. Now kids, 13-year-olds, 15-year-olds want this. Okay, well, then put them in that scene. Let's go ahead and put them in a scene where we have not just racing happening. Maybe there is a, a threat to the city, you know, referencing back to Dean being in the Arrow. Dean, you know how that those stories are written? Yeah. How hard is it to write a story to make something like that come to life with what they did with the arrow, right? Absolutely no mm -hmm. effort at all. Yeah, like it's possible. Like you can make a need for speed game based in a in a situation where it's not just racing now. Maybe there's carjacking, maybe there is uh the life of someone, there is terrorism, there is uh viruses. Viruses. I you, <laughs> you name it. I mean the sky's the there. Limit. You've got a laptop and a few minutes, you can rewrite an entire scene and take it right to set. And you know, Samin, when we've done it, I've had, I've done shows in the past where I literally had four rewrites in my head and we didn't know until we went to picture which one we were going to do. And I had mm -hmm. multiple page scenes in my head and I had to separate one from the other because the director and the studio couldn't decide which way they wanted to shoot it. So if you're telling me, is that too hard to do? Uh, really? Seriously? <laughs> it takes- I minutes. think it writes itself, yeah. There. Habib's yeah. been there, he's seen it. Habib has had to literally jump through hoops on multiple pictures in multiple places to get somebody's vision properly correct because the director and the studio couldn't come to terms on what was the right course of action. So he, Habib, had to have backup just in case, or it's his ass now. So we've been there. It's your question you're asking is, this is all, we're all sitting here speculating about, well, why isn't this, why isn't this? All this has to, all that it simply has to be done is somebody presses a few buttons, picks up a phone and goes, we want this, this, and this to happen. And uh, we know we can get these, these people in there. Now we need to get a shoot date. We need to find a studio time. We need to do this. It's just that simple. And if your pockets are deep enough with cash, which we know that these people are, and you know who I'm talking yeah. about, it can be done <laughs> within a few short hours on any given day between your first Egg McMuffin and your last burger before you go to bed. It's just that simple. It yep. really, really is. Mm. Okay. By the way, uh, with something that's is as iconic as this, are you kidding me? You just have to mention the name Need for Speed, Sergeant Cross, partner. Sexy Zarga. cop. <laughs> you know, together, Maybe I'll get a name. Do this. It's done. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is about this. I've said everything I need to say. Yeah. And, and, and you know, by the way, just so you know, Dean. The speed of <laughs> E for Speed again, they are the ones that last made a most wanted game. Uh, Criterion, the ones that are making the new Need for Speed game, they're the last ones to go at it with most wanted. They're the last ones. They made the most wanted game, their version of most wanted in 2012. And that, just to let you know the insights on that story, that's not the full game that they wanted to make. That game was supposed to get a whole lot more, but you know, EA decided to cut uh, some chords. And, and 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 I don't know what else what went on in the background, but criteria. Ask Habib. 
Yeah, but, well, I don't know if Habib was around in 2012 with, with EA, but the interesting part is that Criterion knows what the most wanted community wants because they're the last ones to make a most wanted game. Mm -hmm. And they're back at it again. Well. <laughs> yep. The, it's, we're going to go in circles until one day. <laughs> yeah. Well, they better not go in circles too much because if I've won my first Oscar, I'm sorry, but I'm priced out of the market. There you but go. But to me, it's a no-brainer. People love car racing games, <laughs> yeah. and they're so I love much fun. I love I'm tired of shooters, man. I, I'm always playing Call of Duty. I'm like, I want to play some Need for Speed. Like, I want to play Need for Speed. I want to play. But so here's my question for you, Habib. If we were to do a movie, and if you were involved, would you rather it look like? Need for Speed Most Wanted, or would you want it to look more like a live action regular movie? Would you want the buttery filter, oh. or would you want it to oh, visually? That's a great question. Yeah, I mean, just um, interesting. Because I, I think it would be really interesting. Yeah, I always like stylizing for a purpose, you know, and, and uh, you know, having something be distinct. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, um, as a world, you feel like you can go escape in. So, so I think uh, it would be really interesting. I'd keep the, you know, things are going much more photo real now because the, the engines can handle it. Mm -hmm. But that that doesn't mean you can't uh, do really great lighting, cinematography. Uh, you know, the fidelity of the characters. I mean, nowadays, you we could do full CG versions of you guys that would look. Uh, I pretty identical to your real selves. Uh, the difference being that the player can experience as and look at you from wherever angle they're going to be in, in, in engine. Oh, uh, yes. You know, so now the technology is there to do all of it in real time, which is crazy. Hey, hey I just had a little bit of a, of a, a thought, hmm. you know, how we're trying to think of figure this thing out. Because if I was in LA right now, I would be saying, "Why don't we rent your 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 Lamborghini? I can get my hands on a on a Corvette for nostalgic purposes, a C6. We find a place somewhere out in the desert, an old um, an old cinema, you know, those old places that have basically been abandoned for forever, mm -hmm. and we have Habib shooting it." And out of the dust, you see the, the Lamborghini come out of the dust and it stops and the windows are tinted and the C6 is already sitting there. I open my car door and I step out. Then you get out and we sit there, stand there looking at each other and we go one more time to Rockport, one more time to Rockport. Then we look at <laughs> get into our car and we drive off. Now that would be fun. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I get the passion out of your your creative writing, off the bat. How many how many versions of a most wanted uh, startup have you given me, Dean? You're probably giving me like maybe five already, and you come up with all these great yeah. ideas. And I'm like, and then I go off of them, and I'm like in my head as I'm driving, I'm just thinking, wow. I would play that. <laughs> like, I'm like, I know. Oh. Like I'm like, oh, like I just keep going with the whole cinema. Like in my head, like Habib you can relate to this and, and all of you, because all of you are, are involved in this, in this world, you close your eyes or you're driving and you're just imagining a scene take off and you start playing it in your head. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, pretty I get, much. I get a lot of inspiration um, with music, especially soundtrack music. It, mm, it, it's almost inescapable. If I hear a soundtrack music, it just automatically switches on you know some visuals in my head whether i like it or not it's just really tremendous to to have it um and then depending on the kind of track you're playing you have a different kind of scene <laughs> so yeah i have yep. a you know definitely my stash of uh soundtracks that inspire me and i love i love doing that yeah actually you know what actually that would be i mean in answer to your your, your question we're, we're, we're actors, we're artists, Samo, myself, and he, uh, Habib's uh, is an artist. So you can give us an idea or think of, um, we, we can literally create pretty much an entire film 
within a few short seconds of that question. I mean, it's just what we're trained to do. It's who we are wired as people, because when you're an artist, you are the artistic mind, the artistic faculty is just so limitless. I mean, I come up with all kinds of crazy scenarios. Look, I live in my head all day long thinking about, you know, fantastical things that could happen or, or won't happen. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's who I am. I mean, I, I, my acting, well, well, it, it defines me. It's, it's, it's who I am. So, I mean, right. even what I was talking about with that scene, I wouldn't have said, okay, one more time to Rockport, I'd say something like, we'd look at each other for a, a long couple of seconds and say, ready to go back? And someone would look at me and go, yep. Mm -hmm. And then we turn around as the cars race off, the camera pans through the dust, as the dust starts to dissipate and you see Rockport with bullet holes in it. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you take my money, baby. Take my money. And then, and then yes. just yes. as you think that's it's over, the camera pans up and one of Habib's helicopters. And then another. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of them. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, and Dean, at the end, yeah, at the back, I, I'm about I, I'm almost done. I need to end the stream, but keep this in mind. As everything goes up in the air all the way to the top, then it says available to everyone November yeah, 8th, right. 20. Like, you know, everyone, like, or, or yeah, everyone. I got to head out myself, too, so. Because uh, um, you, you got to go write this script, right, Dean? Oh, please, you kidding Habib me? Knows I don't have that I, Habib and knows that I write trailers. He knows yes. that I write trailers. So he knows that probably after I'm done with this stream right now, I'm going to go out to the, to the living room and start <laughs> running this trailer in my head for the next two hours. He's like, he knows how I am. He knows I'm crazy. You know, but the thing yeah. about it, there is nothing that is beyond our reach and there's nothing that's impossible. And all you have to have is the creativity yeah. and the will to do it. And it can be done. You may be running into a few roadblocks for people <laughs> that are to do it that would want to do it. But who's to say that you can't just do it. Why? Because they say you can't. Oh, please. Yeah. If I had listened to people, I wouldn't, I'd be working in McDonald's instead of being an actor. I mean, it's just like nothing's impossible. And I don't believe that anything is beyond my reach. And I don't believe you can't go too damn far. And that's just the way I'm wired. So we want this. We want to get this done. If the game yes. is up, we want this to be done. Then damn it. Get up off your couches get in front of your laptops, start banging on EA's door loud enough for you to break it down and for them to fully understand that you want what you want when you want it, or you're going to take your marbles and you're going to walk on the hell down the road to someplace else. Simple. Yes. Ooh, baby, I felt that. All right, man. That was epic. That was epic. That was epic. Thank you, guys. I, I am so that. excited, you guys. Like, I... I oh, won't rest until this tomorrow. actually happens. Oh, no, it must happen. happen. It must it's happen. Going to happen. Okay. I think the you movie did. is actually uh, more appealing even than the video game. Okay. Well, you've <laughs> done the gaming world out there a great service with this show, getting Habib, getting LP, and getting me to basically sit down and say, well, LP is saying, yeah, he would literally, like, I don't yeah. know, he would basically <laughs> lose sleep for a year to to, to play it or watch it, Habib is willing to basically add in whatever he does or however he does it because I don't understand it. All I know is that it looks good every time. I'm uh, willing to work. You're willing. Yeah, he's going to write it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I it think like it would be can. great. It sounds like I think good. it would be great. You know, I wouldn't mind doing it. I have never done it. And I've always thought about doing it. Um, yeah, I'd write it in a heartbeat. I'd write it. Yeah, I know. I know you would, Dean, because I've seen our private messages, and something tells me that this is probably one of the franchises and the and the stories that you have been the most connected to in your entire life. Like you don't talk about this like you talk about anything else. You talk about no. this like like <laughs> like it's part of your heart and soul. And to me, yeah. it's like if you wouldn't have been an actor, you for sure would have been a cop. So as soon as quarantine well, is well, over, uh, we're gonna have you know, Dean uh, fly down. What's yeah. that? Right? As what? soon as quarantine's over, Dean's gonna fly down. We're gonna start shooting, uh, continue shooting Squadron, right? 
That's well, right. that's the thing. If I wasn't an actor, I which is starring I'm Derek as well, by the way. Oh, cool. Oh, yes, Derek and, and Sean Dean Roberts and Mandy but, Amano, Yeah. But speaking about the flying the squadron movie, and no, I wouldn't have been a cop, LP. <laughs> I would have actually been a, a a fighter pilot because I love I love planes. I love fighters specifically. Uh, everything from the SR seventy one Blackbird to the uh, the F twenty two. I love planes. I've always loved uh, just the freedom of flight, the speed, and just basically taking things to the razor's edge just to the point where they break and then pulling back. I love what flight flying does. I, I've always loved planes. Man. So that was what I would have done. I would have been, I would have joined the uh, whatever Air Force would have me and, uh, <laughs> and, and flown jets. That's what I would have done. Right on. Man, this has been epic. What an interview. Thank thanks, yeah. guys. Thank you, Simone. Thank you, Simone, oh, again. Okay. She's the one that Simone. brought it together, so we want to say thanks yeah. to her. Oh, we'll thank to you. Me. Wow. Simone, so, a lot of love over there. A lot of love. <laughs> if thanks, you're... So. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Wow. Well, well the chat right. has love for <laughs> all of you, and um, thank you so much to everyone in our live chat, for everyone tuning in. Um, I have linked every one of these fabulous guests um, so you can stay connected with them. It's in the description below. Please, if you haven't, uh, like, subscribe to everyone's everything, uh, their Instagram, their Twitter, right yeah, right their here. YouTube. Um, right. and, if, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, share this stream, um, and hit the notification bell. You guys, I just... I could I could actually just keep talking to you forever. I just think this is fantastic, and and um, I really really appreciate you being here it's today, to be, baby. It's meant to be. Well, you know what, Simone? The beauty part of this thing is what you can always have us back in a few weeks or months when things have changed. And believe yes. me, after this, this little thing that we've just done here, mm -hmm. yeah, changes in the wind. Trust me, we'll be hearing from people. Yeah. From the yep. people that actually make those decisions. Soon. I'm one phone call away. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we'll do this again for sure, Simone. All four of us will be sitting down and doing this again. Believe me. Soon. Well, and we'll invite some other special guests, too. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll have a party. And, uh, oh, I can already imagine. I can already <laughs> imagine. All right, guys. All right. So thank you all. LP. Habib, I'll talk to you real soon. Simone. Yes. I God love you guys. guys. Big hugs. Take care. Thank Thanks you. for watching. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you.